let's look at this set six children a through f had a certain number of had certain number of chocolates with them at the beginning of the day during the day each of the six children ate at least one chocolate from the ones that they had and then exchanged some chocolates between themselves it is known that each child ate, ate the same number of chocolates every child ate equal number of chocolates further each child exchanged chocolates with that is gave a certain number of chocolates to and took a certain number of chocolates uh, with exactly one child so there are unique pairings there are six children there will be three unique pairings in which one child is giving chocolates one child is receiving chocolates okay so first thing we'll have to figure out is how many chocolates did the children eat first add up all the number of chocolates at the beginning of the day 24 and 18 is 42 42 and 32 is 74 74 and 16 is 90 90 plus 18 is 108 108 plus 24 is 132 there are 132 chocolates in, at the beginning of the day and some of them got eaten up how many chocolates are left at the end of the day 20 plus 5 25 25 plus 10 35 35 plus 18 53 53 plus 11 64 64 plus 8 72 so a total of 60 chocolates have been consumed and we were told that every child ate equal number of chocolates so every child ate 10 chocolates so from 24 his count of chocolates left with him has come down to 40, come down to 8, come down to 22, come down to 6, come down to 8 and come down to uh, 14. But they are ending the day with a different number of chocolates because they engaged in the exchange exercise. So what happened with it? He has gained 6 chocolates. B has lost 3 chocolates. C has lost 12 chocolates, D has gained 12 chocolates, E has uh, gained 3 chocolates and F has lost 6 chocolates. And this exchange or the numbers here, gain or loss, should give you a clear indication of who paired up with whom. F gave chocolates to A and he gave 6 chocolates away. Similarly, B gave chocolates to E and he gave away three chocolates. And finally, the only two people left are C and D. C gave 12 chocolates to D. These are the three pairings that are existing. We have done pretty much all the processing. Let's get to individual questions. With which child did B exchange chocolates? B gave chocolates to E. So D, what is the maximum increase in the number of chocolates with any child because of exchanging chocolates? The maximum increase is when C gave away chocolates to D and 12 chocolates. Okay, next, what is the number of chocolates at the beginning of the day with the child with whom A exchanged chocolates? A exchanged chocolates with F and number of chocolates with F at the beginning of the day was 24. So 16, 18, 32, none of these. So answer should be option D, none of the above. Now, last question. This is fun. On the next day, the child did not eat any chocolates, but once again exchanged chocolates in the same manner as the previous day, such as the difference between the number of chocolates with any two children is minimum possible. Then what is the... This is not maximum. This should be the greatest difference between the chocolates with any two children. Now, see, 72 chocolates are left at the end of the day. So people have not eaten any chocolates, they, they've simply exchanged. Best case scenario would be if all the children end up with 12 chocolates each. Best case scenario would be if all the children end up with 12 chocolates each. But for us to reach 12 chocolates each, or every child having 12 chocolates each, we would need pairs of people that can add up to, we need pairs of people that add up to 24. But when you look at these numbers, when even when you look at these numbers, you will not find a single pairing of numbers. You will not find a single pairing of numbers where you have stuff adding up to 24, which means we will definitely not have 12, 12, 12, 12 each. We will definitely not have this situation. But then how do you go about doing it? Take 12 as the central value. The numbers that are lower than 12 are 5, 8, 10, and 11. And the numbers that are greater than 12 are 18 and 20. Now, when you're making pairs, when you're making pairs among them, the target has to be, the target has to be pair up the greatest one with the smallest one so that you can get the numbers as close as possible. So I'm pairing up 5 with 20 and I'm pairing up 8 with 18. 
5 and 20 adds up to 25. So A had 20 and B had 5. If they are adding up to 25, I want them to come as close together as possible. The best way I can accomplish that is if he gives 8 chocolates to me or if he gives 7 chocolates to me, either he gives 8 or he gives uh, 7. If he gives eight or uh, seven, he'll have be at thirteen. He'll be at twelve. Or if he gives eight, he'll be at twelve. He'll be at thirteen. Here, uh, seven are coming, going, being exchanged. Here, eight are being exchanged. Either way, this is fine. The next pairing is eight and eighteen. Eight is with F. F has eight and eighteen is with B. Okay, eighteen. They are adding up to. 26. They are adding up to 26. In order to bring them as close together as possible, let's give 5 chocolates away. So he reaches 13. He also reaches 13. And uh, 5 chocolates have been given from D to F. The movement is of course this way. Now the final case, the people left are C and E. This person is at 10. This person, sorry, C is at 10. No, so let me help because they are engaging in some form of exchange. Let this be E and let this fellow be C. He has 11, he has 10. Let him reach 10, let him reach 11. They're already at 21 and at the closest spot possible. Just one exchange I'm engaging in. I mean, engaging is this exchange just to ensure that everybody has done an exchange. And now, if I'm looking at the greatest difference between the chocolates with any two children, see, the smallest possible value achieved by a child is 10. The greatest possible value achieved by a child is 13. So the greatest difference between the number of chocolates with any two children is going to be 3. And that is the entirety of this set. The question number 8 of this set is, uh, or the last question of this set requires a little bit of additional processing. Rest is very, very straightforward. That will be it.